Well, the way couples honeymoon has changed since the pandemic. Not only how long they travel, but how much money they spend. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports from Hawaii, a community in the island of Maui. Mark and Susan, many honeymooners are traveling differently in two ways. They're staying longer and they're spending more money at resorts like those here in Wailea, where it seems like there's perpetual sunshine and plenty of love to go around. Maui is a honeymooner's paradise with activities like outrigger canoeing, <laughs> whale watching, and luau's. It's what brought honeymooners Will and Cortland McDougall from Dallas to Marriott's Wailea Beach Resort. Growing up, I came to Maui a lot, and it's just a very special place to me, and I wanted to share it with my beautiful bride. The property is in Wailea, home to eight luxury resorts, including the Fairmont Kealani, which just unveiled a complete renovation of all of its suites and villas. The Fairmont has found honeymooners are now staying almost twice as long compared to before the pandemic. Additionally, we found that honeymooners are now no longer coming in waves. They're coming consistently throughout the year. They're also spending more, according to the Honeymoon Registry Honey Fund, an average of $4,800 now compared to $3,400 pre-pandemic. Wailea Beach Resort finds couples are indulging in more private experiences, like romantic oceanfront dinners and floating pool cabanas. Through the pandemic, uh, couples have felt like they have been uh, refrained from what they can do, and they want to really be able to celebrate. That's similar to what Jade Mountain in St. Lucia is seeing, but there, some couples never leave the unique rooms with no fourth wall called sanctuaries for much of their stay. And now those stays average a week compared to five days before the pandemic. There is this new term that was created called revenge travel, and I feel we see a little bit of that influence also on our honeymoon, so maybe we have the revenge moons happening here. We got special rates at the hotels. With sanctuaries that look like this, it's easy to to get any kind of revenge travel you want at Jade Mountain, honeymooner or not. Honey Fund also finds that couples are getting more in gifts these days. The average used to be around $1,600 before the pandemic. Now it's $1,950. Mark and Susan? How much are the rooms at the hotels you mentioned? Well, the ones in Maui, nothing's cheap. The ones in Maui are starting at around $900 a night, and the ones in St. Lucia, around $1,500. So hopefully these honeymooners are getting very large gifts to pay for these expensive honeymoon trips. You have no idea how good it sounds to hear a lawnmower in the background <laughs> for, for us here in the frozen tundra. But uh, how, how long are the, are, are the flights to get to Maui? Well, East Coast, where I came from, five hours to get to the West Coast and then another five hours to get to Maui. There are direct flights from the mainland from 14 cities, but some of them are seasonal and only run a few days a week. There is uh, a direct flight from New York. Unfortunately, I was going on a day when that was not running, so I had to do the, the longer flight market. Season. Well, it's worth, the, tri <laughs> it's worth the, tw the wait and the trip. Wendy, thanks for being with us again. <laughs> no complaining. No complaining. <laughs> sure. Great to see you, Wendy. Thank you. What a oh, shot. that looks so beautiful. That was just in St. Lucia. Yeah, where the month. Twin Peaks were. Yeah. You were just there. Not at that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> we were cruising. Not $1,500 a night. Wow.